Hey there YouTube, Grandpa Joe here with uh, a new video series that uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do. Uh, I'm going to chronicle my collection, my baseball card collection. Um, I'm going to start off with this first set of my Kansas City Royals baseball card collection. One thing that, that I don't have included in, in this collection here is... Uh, my two uh, personal collections that I have of individual players, one of uh, Alex Gordon and one of Bo Jackson, which I will make a separate video on, on those individually. Um, with my uh, Kansas City Royals collection, I try to collect uh, one of each card that was produced for a Royals player. Um, I got my uh, binder organized. Uh, by year the cards were produced. Um, this first section here, I've got uh, team cards of the Royals. This next part, I've got my autographs. Numbered cards, jersey cards. This next section I've got are the managers of the Royals. Some of them I have, some of them I'm working on trying to, trying to find and trying to get. Um, I put in little place markers for the ones that I don't have yet. These cards here are, are, are former player cards. <coughs> Excuse me. For some of those managers and, co and coaches, you know, bench coaches and pitching coaches and hitting coaches. This next section, I've got other Kansas City Royals Hall of, Fam Hall of Famers. Um, only one Royals Hall of Famer played the majority of his career uh, with the Royals. That's George Brett there in the, in the middle. Um, Orlando Cepeda and Harmon Killebrew, I do not believe have uh, Royals uniform cards. Um, so I might have to make a custom cards for those. We'll see, you know, what I can find. There are some art that have already been made by other people. Um, I might just piggyback off one of those. Might be easier. I got it tabbed out to 2022. Obviously, we're not there yet. It starts with 2019. There's the 2019 Royals so far. Be next. Twenty eighteen, beginning of it. Kind of like Salvador Perez here. I've been trying to group the ones together that are different uh, parallel sets or similar images. Put those together on there. You're all twenty eighteen. We got 2017 next. Yeah, I kind of wanted to put together this these just collection of videos, you know, kind of going through my collection. That way, you know, one, I have proof of, you know, what I have and what I don't have, you know, for uh, insurance reasons and such. And, and just so I can have a reference that I can go look at, or maybe somebody might see something that I have that they want. You know, it might open up trade opportunities or, or you know, if people happen to see something that, uh, that I don't have, you know, maybe, you know, they can uh, let me know and maybe we can figure out something. Uh, next we got 2016. Here's Bowman. Here's Tops. Twenty fifteen will be next. Twenty 
2014. 2013. Some of the years I don't have much. I wasn't really doing a lot of collecting during those times. I had uh, other life things going on that you know precluded me from, from being able to, to collect. Kind of got back to a place where I was a more stable and, and able to, to go get back into it a little bit. And here's the 2012. 2011. 2010. 2009, 2008, 2008 still, on to 2007 next. 2006, 2005, I have none, 2004, I don't have any other than the, the team released cards, 2003, a couple of Carlos Beltrons and, and then the team releases public safety cards. 2002, 2002, and there's the team release cards, 2001, Nineteen ninety four be next. One thing I noticed when I was putting my collection together of the cards that I had already. Uh, there's a lot of Royals, former Royals players who went on to have very successful careers at other places, which sucks as a Royals fan because we would love to keep some of them, like the like Johnny Damon or Tom Gordon. Those are a couple of good ones that went on to play for, for other teams that were very successful. Uh, Carlos Beltran was another one. And in 1993... David Cohn, that's another one. There's several that were that it happened that way. It seems like every one that we bring in, they don't do quite as well once they get here for some reason. Here's some more 1993s. 
1991. There's a bow. I have another one of that card in my other collection. I try to limit each collection to only having one of each player card. Um, sometimes it gets kind of confusing because there, there's so many cards that you sometimes you just don't notice, but I think I got it pretty well down to where I only have one of each card. 1991 still. Okay, now we're 1990. I got a friend who's a Red Sox fan. I always give him a hard time about the 86 World Series. Every time I see a Bill Buckner car, that, that's what it reminds me of. 1990s. Let's move on to 1989. Here's Don Russ. We got tops. More 1989s. And if you see in my Royals collection, I don't. I, I'm not worried about condition of the cards. This is for me to enjoy, not not looking at resale value or anything like that. You know, this is something that, that I really like. Been a, been Royals fan since the 80s. Grew up in the Kansas City area, so that's kind of how I. Became a Royals fan. Going to 1987 now. Nineteen eighty seven tops. That's one of my favorite designs. I love that wood grain border. Every year they use those. You know, these the cards just look wonderful. We got nineteen eighty six. Moving to 1985, Nothing in 1976. Or 70, there's, there's 76, 75, 74. Uh, I do have the George Brett that goes with the 75. It's just keep it not in this collection. I use it as a display piece. And then we've got, here's my Lone 72. And my earliest Royals card right there, 1970. The Lou Pinella All-Star Rookie. And then I got just some of the more notable players back here. That just doubles of some cards that the players that I, that I liked, you know, during the playing days. Zach Grinke and Kevin Apier and Jack down here and that my brother's favorite player growing up, Saber Hagen.
that's my Kansas City Royals collection of baseball cards. I you know, hope you enjoyed watching it. Please uh, drop a thumbs up down there and comment. And if you see something that I don't have, if you have something that I don't have and you want to get rid of it, all right, me. I'm open to doing some trades or, or purchases or whatever, you know, whatever to uh, add to my collection. So, but don't forget to like it, and I'll see you when I do the next one. Have a good one.